Hello there are Impossible Creations and in this video we will focus on field variables, field comments and injecting process. If you did not watch previous tutorials, I encourage you to check them out to know what we're doing here. Alright, thanks to field comments, you can place for example doors in desired placement or different objects. You can also prevent spawning for some objects which can help you out pretty much when designing levels. And next subject of this tutorial, so field variables which you can use to for example replace materials of some objects or control density of objects you want to spawn inside the room. There are many possibilities. Alright, let's start with field comments. So let's open previously created field setup. Let's hide things we don't need now. And there we have field setup parameters. There we have cell instruction commands. By default there are two of them. First we will make comment for creating doors. And there is example of doorway field modificator. And we will make copy of it and put it inside this field setup. Now we have our new field modificator. And we will select doorway model which fits to the walls we use. Let's clear everything. And let's use our field setup on Grid Painter. Let's add Grid Painter component, assign our room, turn on gizmos. I will disable gizmos from field designer window. Let's reset position. And now let's paint some room. Let's hit generate. Let's make it a bit bigger. And let's say we want to have door in this position. So here you see door commands which are present in field setup file. So there are displayed these commands. So let's select door hole. Let's paint it here. And now we can set direction of the door where it should be placed. Now when we hit generate, you see it's generated here. But default preset for door modificator was have a bit too, too big value the offset for the doors. So let's correct it and generate again and you see we have here door. But I assign wrong prefab. It's for bathroom door and it's rotated by 180 rotations. So let's correct this. And the door we want is here. Alright, now let's generate again. Well, the placement was indeed alright with 0.5. And you see we have here door. You can switch to movement tool and move it here. But you must remember that if we want door created in certain direction, we must switch to rotation tool too. To tell that this guide for field setup command should execute in this direction. And you see it works. But you see, there is created our drawer model. And we don't want that. Let's disable randomization for the grid painter, so we always have the same set of furniture. Now what we can do with this command is preventing spawn for selected tags and its feature of a door hole command. As you can see there is much more commands which you can use and for door hole we can set for example that the emplacement of door hole command guide there shouldn't be spawn any object with prop tag and you see it's working. Now let's talk about field variables. By default there are added two example variables one is called spawn probability multiplayer and second spawn count multiplayer. And now for example purpose, let's add some new modificator, which we will remove later. And let's spawn something visible here. Let's spawn barrel. And let's add here random offsets. And let's generate it. So let's tell these barrels are enemies in some type of game. So for example in one room we want to have more enemies and in other room we want only few of them. So we can add rule for limiting count of the objects. And let's say it will choose from 6 to 10 objects to generate with a randomization. Let's turn on again randomization. Uh, but let's put them randomized. Alright. But we want to control this count and uh, we don't want to create like separated field setups for that. So we can hit this dot here and select spawn count multiplayer. Now when we set this value here to the zero, 
the limit count will be zero so there will be no object spawned or we can crank it up higher so there is very big number like 50 barrels limit to generate you of course can change the minimum and maximum value for the variable default value will be one but using this grid painter we want to inject change of this spawn con multiplayer to be like 0.5 so there we must put the modificator we want to overwrite variable and hit this toggle to display available variables to overwrite and let's say it will be 0.5 but now field setup runs this modificator and also runs injected modificator because there we injected this modificator including the override but when we want just override the variable we must select different option here so we use this modificator just to access variable and now you see it's working we can disable default modificator and inject this one so you see you can use any other modificator here like some extra objects and inject into other field setup without changing anything inside this field setup now let's implement variables for changing material of the walls because we want to make bathroom version of the same room and we want to use the same mesh models for walls the same mesh planes for floor and ceiling but with different material so let's add variable and call it wall mat let's change its type to material let's add another variable call it floor material and last one seal material now we can hide it we can switch to modificator with walls and there we can add modeling set mesh material and there we want to replace material of walls which is this material so replace only this material and let's apply it for every spawner in this field modificator do the same on the door command and now in the new material field we can select our wall material and do the same with walls wall material and we can check if it works with assigning the new material here and you see it already changed but let's turn it back all right and let's do the same for floor and the ceiling all right let's check if it works this material oh yeah, it's working so now I will quickly create new modificators pack with props for the bathroom. Alright, so I made the modificators which spawns this prop for bathroom. But I noticed that I don't want to have this extension walls in bathroom and the windows as well as some of the props modificators from other packages. To make all of that clean, let's create new field setup. Let's call it bathroom. Let's add here modificator and it will be our wall. And we just set it up here. Wall, quick solution, wall placer everywhere, minus one, which already will be bathroom room. And now let's put inside modificator of root pack from room version one. Let's disable walls. So we have floor from room version one and we will be able to replace the materials because there are implemented variables. And let's add the rest of the packages we used in previous room and select props we want to spawn here. So let's put here decals, let's randomize seed all right decals are okay no small props they are not spawning because we forgot to set tag for our wall yeah now it's working all right let's add the furniture pack let's enable it well of course we don't want these barrels at all in the package we don't want the table radiator is okay wall props are okay lights are okay Maybe base furniture, 
and now finally bathroom props but make them be executed before small props and others so collision can be detected all right what we see here that picture frame is overlapping with a mirror so let's tag mirror as wall prop like we did preventing spawning pictures on spawns with tag wall prop done in previous tutorial video now let's paint using this field setup and let's inject the floor and ceiling we also have to prepare door so let's use doorway from room version 1 but let's correct name of a preventing spawn and we see that picture is created here so let's also prevent wall props all right and small props all right now let's inject the material of walls using reference modificator overwrite it before everything and let's assign we want the material let's do another injection inject floor and ceiling material well let's go crazy this time it generate and we have our bathroom let's make it a bit smaller and all right and that's all for this tutorial and next one we will create whole facility built out of different field setups so if you have some questions then feel free to ask in comment section below subscribe or hit the bell for notifications about new videos thank you for watching and see you next time bye bye